Hey everybody, today I'm working on my 97 A4 Quattro with the 2.8 V6 and the problem I'm having today is that this thing is overheating or the temperature gauge states that it's overheating which is unusual. I mean this thing has never overheated ever. I've had it for 13 years. This thing is just, you know, the temperature gauge is straight up normal operating temperature forever. So today when I noticed it was creeping to the right it was like three quarters of the way to the right which was alarming to me so I pulled it in here uh, I popped the hood I'm looking around I don't there's no evidence that anything is overheating here there's no steam there's no smoke there's no smell of anything too hot so I'm a little not sure what to make of this so you know while it's in here and it's off while the gauge is reading hot I've taken my thermal imager and pointed it at the radiator hose and the upper radiator hose registers 190 degrees which is perfect. Uh, I shot the lower radiator hose which I forget what it was but it was substantially less probably 30 40 degrees less. So I'm wondering now is this thing actually overheating or am I just getting the gauge telling me that it's overheating. So I went and located the coolant temperature sensor which is back behind the motor here. I don't know if you can see it but I, I, I've removed it. And, but I took my infrared imager and I shot it right at the metal pipe that that coolant temperature sensor is mounted in directly on the pipe and the pipe read 190 degrees which is perfect temperature. So now I'm suspicious that the coolant temperature sensor is not reading correctly for some reason. So I pulled it out and let me show you what I find. Okay, so I've removed the coolant temperature sensor. Here it is, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty simple little device. And how it works is the resistance on this thing decreases when the temperature rises. So there's high resistance right now, and as it heats up, it has lower and lower resistance. So you feed, say, 12 volts into it at high resistance, you know, very little voltage comes out of it. When it heats up, more voltage comes out of it because the resistance drops. So let's go see what the range should be in this little device. Okay, so here I am in the service manual, and we've got the engine coolant temperature sensor resistance this gives us you know, an idea of what we should be looking for and so at 68 degrees Fahrenheit or ambient room temperature when before you start it should have approximately 2500 ohms resistance and when the engine is at 176 degrees you know, normal operating temperature we should have approximately 330 ohms Okay, so now we know what to test this sensor, what we're looking for. We're looking for at normal operating temperature around 330 ohms from this sensor. So let's go look for that. Okay, so now that I know what to look for, 330 ohms when this thing is hot, uh, the, the problem I have is that this is a four pin sensor. So I don't know you know which pins to check for ohms at temperature I mean you can't just go around willy-nilly jumping a bunch of pins and looking for 330 ohms you got to know what you're looking for so I'm gonna go grab a wiring diagram and see if we can't figure out there is no pin numbers on this thing there's no one two three four it's just you know four pins and I need to know which two to jump and look for 330 ohms when it's warm. So let's go look at the wiring diagram. Okay, so I printed out a wiring diagram that shows the engine coolant temperature sensor. And here it is, four wires coming out of it. And immediately I can see that these two wires go to the instrument cluster. That's the gauge on my dash. So these two pins, two and four, 
this is going to my gauge my gauge is reading high it doesn't appear that the engine is hot so it's like there's two sensors inside this two different sensors inside this one sensor <laughs> so I'm interested in pins two and four we've got a blue and a brown wire and a brown wire so I'm going to go back to the harness in the car, look for the blue and brown and brown, see what two pins they're going to, and then I can determine which pins on the sensor that I will be looking for my ohms reading. Okay, so I've determined which pins to look at. I went to the harness that plugs into this connector. I got the blue and brown and brown wires, and they go to these two pins on this side. So these are the two pins. This is the one sensor inside this unit. Actually has two sensors. This is one. Goes to the gauge on the dash. And the other side I would imagine goes to the ECM telling the computer the temperature of the car. So I'm interested in, because I didn't get any messages on the dash, any warning lights or anything. I just got a gauge that's reading high. So I want to check the ohms across these two pins at various temperatures. So let's do that. Okay, here's my setup for this test. I'm in the kitchen, got a pot of water on the stove. Uh, I've got a therm thermometer in the water so I know what the temperature of the water is. I've got this red dial set right at 175 degrees, 180 degrees or so. That's normal operating temperature for the vehicle. I've got my meter hooked up to the two terminals that feed the gauge on my dash and so I'm going to heat up this water to 180 degrees I'm going to dip this in here and I'm going to read the ohms and I'm looking for about 330 ohms at operating temperature so let's see what happens Okay, here we are. We're approaching normal operating temperature, and what I should be reading in ohms is 330, and it looks like I'm reading 160 or so. So this this is this makes sense. I'm I'm glad to see this. I mean, it looks like this sensor is not working properly. It doesn't have enough resistance low resistance, more voltage is passing through it, more voltage goes up to the gauge, energizes the coil in the gauge, stronger magnetic field pulls the needle over even further. Alright, now I've, I'm going to check the other variable resistor in here, the one that goes to the computer, and we'll compare it to see if, are they both not working, or is it just the one going to the gauge not working? Again, I'm looking for around 330 ohms, you know, give or take 20 or 30, I suppose. Okay, so it's starting to stabilize right around 330, right on the, right on the mark. So this is good. So well, that's good. Now let me go reconnect it back onto the variable resistor that feeds the gauge. And we'll see what it reads. Okay, so this resistance is much different on this side than the other side. So I'm going to make the call that this 
coolant temperature sensor is bad because it should be reading about 330 it's reading about 200 which means it's not resisting any voltage if you put 12 volts through it more voltage is going to get through it which means more voltage gets to the gauge okay so I'm making the call I'm going to order a new one of these engine coolant temperature sensors I was able to check it and verify there's actually two variable resistors in here and one of them is going bad and we've confirmed that with our little test I and mean, that's the way I tested this thing and so I'm satisfied now that I can order this and I'm not just guessing and so there you go hope you enjoyed the video maybe you learned something if so that's great if you like the channel please subscribe and until next time thanks for watching